a child is going to have reading problems, it's often not picked up until they're at least three to five years old. But a new study finds that the way a baby babbles could be an early indicator of literacy. Dr. Malika Marshall is here for Family Focus, and you can actually read a baby's babble? Yeah, not so much on paper, but you can interpret it. Okay. So these were re researchers at Florida State University that took nine infants ranging in age from nine months to two and a half years, and they studied the babble between the babies and the caretakers and looked specifically for a consonant to vowel ratio, hmm. which is supposed to be an indicator of speech complexity. And they found that the babies who had the more complex babble were ba better able to identify identify letters and better able to read at the age of six. Oh. Now it was a small study, they say they need to do other studies, but it might sort of allow us to have an early indicator of whether a child is going to have problems reading later on and might sort of indicate that they need early intervention. And if that is discovered, if the parents discover through this means that their child might struggle, how can they try to get ahead of it and enhance their baby's language development. So what we'd like all parents to do is sort of start early, even before problems begin. So start early and they say that quality of speech with your baby is more important than quantity. Okay. So there were some local experts that came up with some tips for parents which I'd like to go through. Okay. So with very young infants, um, you definitely want to do what sort of come nat comes naturally to most parents. That is to use those exaggerated tones and speech and facial expressions. You have to talk to the baby like that and you do <laughs> big like just David does too. Um, and so that sort of starts with language development. Okay. As the baby starts to babble on their own, you want to get them lots of positive reinforcement. So even if they're going blah, 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 really, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to tell mommy? When the baby is a little bit older, you want to sort of help them learn vocabulary. And that is by pointing to objects, pointing to pictures and identifying them. Look at the dog. Look at my nose. And you want to continue that. And then when they are toddler age, you can start having real conversations with them. Right. And you can sort of use prompts like the five W's, the who, what, where, when, why. Right. What happened? Where are you going? <laughs> what should we do right now? And all of that stuff will help kids sort of develop language and hopefully better, be better readers. Well, something that I do, and people think I'm a maniac, is when I'm walking around with my one and a half year old, I will tell him everything that I'm doing. If I'm making coffee in the morning, hey, I'm making coffee. I'm putting the pot into the... Do you think that that's useful in any That's way? perfect, because yeah. your son is about a year and a half right. now, right? Yeah. So you're pointing to objects. Look, I made coffee and coffee. I know those are some pretty sophisticated <laughs> words and <laughs> objects. Maybe you could start with spoon. spoon. But, um, but yeah, all of that. I mean, those, the baby's brains are sponges, and he's soaking all of that up. So you're doing and exactly the right And how about right when thing. they start using the F word? <laughs> Well, so we talked about that earlier, and it's uh, probably ignoring it. Is ignore best. it. Ignore it is best. Instead Don't make of, a big thing about it. Yeah, unless they're 16. Well, then sure. you make okay. a big deal about it. <laughs> right, okay. Dr. Malika Marshall, thank you so much. As You're always, welcome. this has been Family Focus. Much more here on CBSBoston.com.